Welcome back, the Keto family. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make very easy cauliflower rice. If this is your first time with us, don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. All right, lovelies, welcome back. So I know that this is something that's been around for a while, cauliflower rice. And up until a couple weeks ago, I had been buying it in bags in the store just to pre-chop cauliflower rice. And then I noticed how much cheaper it is to buy a head of cauliflower, process it myself, and make my own cauliflower rice. And the best part about that is I also, usually I'll take two or three heads of cauliflower and do it all at once because if you've ever messed with cauliflower, you know that those little white pieces get everywhere in your kitchen and it takes forever to clean up. So I try to get all knocked out at once so I don't have to make a mess any more than I have to. So I'll make a large batch of the rice cauliflower and I'll separate it out into usually about two cup portions and I'll vacuum seal them into their own bags. Here we go. Here's one of mine. I'll vacuum seal them into their own bags so that way I have them on hand for when I need them. And you can either use it fresh or frozen. I put mine right in my steamer and for about 10 to 12 minutes steam it and it works perfectly every time for me. So this is how I do it. I just got a head of cauliflower here. I cut it up into chunks, not too small, but not too big. If they're too big, they won't work down into the blades. I find sometimes you don't have large chunks left. And I'll put it in my food processor. This is not an expensive food processor, guys. It's a Hamilton Beach one. I must have gotten it five or six years ago off of Amazon. And it still works just the same as it did when I first got it. It's been a really good one for me. So I don't do too much at a time because I like to really control the size of my cauliflower granules. You don't want them too small because then it's almost like cauliflower powder at that point. So I stick some in and then I'll pulse it until it's the consistency that I want it to be. If you want yours to be a little bit thicker, again, just watch it. If you want them fine and have that powdery cauliflower rice, then that is you and you want to do it, so you do you, boom. But I'm going to go ahead and pulse it until it's how I like it. so that was eight pulses and it's just like I like it whenever you turn it out into your bowl if you do find larger pieces you just grab them out and throw them back into the next batch but you should find this not a very big problem Let's continue on with the next batch now if you don't have a food processor you can grate the cauliflower by head I don't personally recommend it, but if that's all you got, then you can definitely do that. The reason I don't recommend it is because literally as you're grating it, these little white bobbles are going everywhere. And then also that makes it quite fine. You can't get some of the bigger ricier pieces that way. It gets kind of, you know, on the small side. But if that's what you got, then use that. All right, guys and gals, so it was literally that simple. In less than two minutes, I've got a whole cauliflower rice stuff and sitting here. It is so easy to do. And again, make a big batch, freeze them so you have them to use at your convenience. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Please don't forget, leave me a thumbs up down below. And feel free to share this recipe with anybody you know. You can use a quick way to make rice cauliflower. Until next time, guys. Bye.